Well, one of his targets was the Anti-Defamation League. They have an office here in the southeast part of the valley. I talked to a counterterrorism expert who believes this arrest is part of the FBI's attempts to be more proactive after a string of deadly attacks across the country. He said social media and the dark web can make it tougher to find these lone wolves. He was getting very close to uh, becoming actionable, if you will. He was getting very close to operationalizing. A Las Vegas security guard is now facing federal charges. The FBI says he had materials to build bombs at home and plans to use those in deadly attacks at a local synagogue and gay-friendly bar downtown. They are not really hiding their views as much as trying to actively seek out those who have similar views. I got a hold of the criminal complaint against Connor Climo and went through it with a counterterrorism expert. They're motivated online talking to others and you'll hear some key words like it's time to act and nobody's doing anything. Climo joined several white supremacist groups online and used encrypted chat apps like Discord. But he admitted to the FBI he left those because, quote, he became bored with the groups and their inaction. Court documents also reveal Climo had unknowingly been talking to an undercover agent. That's when he detailed his plans, adding that first, he wanted to attack, quote, homeless people as a test run. The longer you wait, usually the better the case you have for criminal prosecution. The problem is sometimes you can wait too long and they actually go out there and do something violent. Climo also wanted to target the Anti-Defamation League, which is a group dedicated to protecting minorities. We see the rise of white supremacy around the country and around the world. Um, and so unfortunately, the saddest thing I can say is that no, it was not a surprise. The office is thankful local law enforcement stopped him. To think about what kind of what could have happened to vulnerable communities around Las Vegas um, without their support and without their investigation, uh, it makes me makes me shake. The ADL works with Metro to make sure local groups have safety plans in place. They say this was just a reminder to never let their guard down. We are here um, to secure justice and fair treatment for all. And, you know, at the end of the day, we are going to continue to fight bad hate speech with good speech. And at this point, so many different venues have been attacked. It's, uh, it's getting to be a smaller list of what wouldn't be attacked. But if you see somebody acting suspicious, don't just dismiss it, turn your head and walk away. You simply don't know. And as for Climo, he faces up to 10 years in prison. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. All right, thanks, Tiana. Now, with the recent mass shootings and with Climo's threats, more special events are incorporating more of a police presence. Extra Metro police officers were on hand at tonight's AFAN black and white party. It gave attendees an extra layer of safety and security in case a catastrophic event were to happen. Last year, we didn't have to have that, that kind of extra layer of security. There wasn't that fear. Unfortunately, um, because of uh, the gentleman that, that uh, was taken into custody and that threat, um, there is that heightened sense, uh, you know, that need for additional security and protection. And it, it feels really good. Now, this is the 33rd year AFAN has held its black and white party to benefit Nevadans with HIV and AIDS.